The leaders of France, Germany, and Italy visited Kyiv to show European support for Ukraine as Russia continues its violent offensive in the east of the country. The president of Romania also arrived with them. When a reporter asked why he came to Ukraine, Macron replied, to send a message of European unity. Scholz told the German Daily Bild that they want to show not only solidarity but also to assure that the aid we are organizing, financial, humanitarian and also, as far as weapons are concerned, will continue. And that we will continue this as long as it is necessary for Ukraine's struggle against Moscow, he said. This is the first time the leaders of the three EU countries visited Kyiv since the Russian invasion on February 24. They visited Irpin, which was under Russian occupation for nearly a month. During their visit to Irpin, the Ukrainian authorities told the European leaders about the crimes committed by the Russian army in the cities of the Kyiv region, which were occupied by the Russian army in early March and only liberated in early April. The European leaders were accompanied by military officers and journalists. In Ukraine, Macron responded to criticism of France's response, including his recent comment that Russia should not be humiliated, which deeply angered Ukrainians. He assured that France has been on Ukraine's side from day one. His office also published a list with the dates of all his conversations with Zelensky. They called each other 23 times since the start of the war, and Macron spoke to Putin 11 times, including three times with Scholz. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky revealed details of the meeting with Macron, Scholz, and Draghi. We talked about Ukraine's requirements, about powerful weapons, we need a lot of help. Every weapon means saved lives, every deferred solution gives the Russians the opportunity to kill Ukrainians, the president said. After the talks, the parties agreed on arms deliveries and new sanctions. In addition, European leaders assured that they would support the granting of EU candidate status to Ukraine. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said that the leaders of France, Germany, and Italy should not focus exclusively on arms deliveries to Ukraine. During his regular briefing with reporters, Peskov said Emmanuel Macron, Olaf Scholz, and Mario Draghi should use their time with Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky to take a realistic look at the situation. Peskov said, one would hope that the leaders of these three states would focus not only on supporting Ukraine by continuing to supply weapons to it. This would be absolutely useless and would cause additional damage to the country, he added.